I know y'all been waiting for a mock draft with the Locked On Podcast Network. Mock draft for 2024 is about to start, but I got a pre-snap party for you. We're going to do it right here on Locked On Jaguars. You are Locked On Jaguars, your daily Jacksonville Jaguars podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. That's right. Ain't nothing but a party, y'all. It is a pre-mock draft, pre-snap thingamajigger right here on Locked On Jaguars. I'm Tony Wiggins, the host of the Locked On Jaguars podcast, where it's your team every day. We always thank you for make, making us your first listen. Look, man, we got it going on. The mock draft is going to start here for the Locked On Podcast Network very, very shortly. I wanted to give you a little pre-game, a little pre-snap, though, as to what you're going to see. You're going to see us hopefully make a pick at 17 or before. I'm not going to tell you whether or not it's going to happen, but hopefully we'll be able to get our pick in at 17 or before. The thought of moving back, does that enter the equation? If the mock draft goes the way that I think it's going to go, there is a good chance that the Jacksonville Jaguars will get the 17th pick and have a chance to move back to get extra draft capital. What are the main needs for this football team? Well, we know that they have a lot of needs. The main thing I I think they have to do is what they have done over the last three years at least. That is, they have to get a really, really good football player in round one. They've managed to do that with Travis Etienne and Trevor Lawrence the first year, Trayvon Walker the year after that, and Anton Harrison last year, offensive tackle out of Oklahoma. So they do have a track record of getting someone early that this football team needs and that ended up having an impact. And so to me, to to line draft need up with impact player and with impact player at a position of need and a position of value, I think is very, very critical and very, very important. Um, it's, It's more important to me, though, that that player be able to actually play as opposed to having them win the night or win this phase of the evaluation process I just want the dude to be able to play and I want him to be able to help the team. So that tells me that even if they go in the interior or the defense of the defensive line, wide receiver, cornerback, where they draft a young player who's a really, really good, really talented player who on day one may not line up, may not line up for the first snap of the game at his respective position. We should, we should at some point turn the corner as a franchise on guys having that big of an impact uh, as rookies. Uh, Had the Jaguars gone to the playoffs, they would have been picking like 20, maybe 23rd, 24th, 25th, depending on how many games they would have won. And had they been in those, uh, had they been in that spot, it would have probably been 23 where Houston is right now. Had it been in that spot, I don't think people would be expecting the dude picked at 23 to necessarily be coming in and playing for a team that won the playoffs. So when you look at it from that big picture perspective, just understand that this team was one game away, a half a game from getting into the playoffs and having that 23rd pick and being that. So because they didn't make it and because they ended up outside of it and they're picking in the teams, I think folks sometimes look at that as, well, they need to get an impact player. Impact player is fine as long as you're not sacrificing what the team can be in the future just to look good next year and make yourself seem smart. And that that truly is something that happens at times when uh, GMs have something to prove or coaches have something to prove or there's a watchful eye watching over you saying, let me see if you're going to screw this up, as opposed to just doing what is right by the club. So hopefully that is something uh, that will happen when they actually make the pick. And hopefully after tonight's pick, here on the Locked On Podcast Network mock draft, you guys will think that I'm pretty smart, that I did okay. And uh, you get a chance to do this live and feel this live based on what you're getting from the experts from those teams and what those folks are hearing. And they have their finger on the pulse of that team, you know, like a thermometer. So they know exactly what those folks are thinking about. Um Just like I think I may know exactly what the Jaguars are thinking about now, instead of us doing these mock drafts and and folks not knowing how we arrived at the decision, you get a chance to follow along right now on the Locked On Podcast Network mock draft and 
you get to follow along and actually see how I ended up with the Jaguars pick and what I decided to do and what my thinking and my reasoning for making that pick uh, was or is, depending on when you're watching this. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to get right to it. It's not going to be uh, something that's dragged out, but we will have uh, people from all of, all walks of life are, are locked on. You have the locked on fantasy football, locked on NFL draft. You'll hear about the picks from the people that make the picks. You're going to hear about uh, some analysis from division rivals, all those you should know by now. So don't be paying attention to them haters. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially, you know, especially the ones in Houston and Tennessee. You know, the ones in Indy, you know, they, they kind of control themselves a little bit. But them boys in Indy and boys in Tennessee, they, they always got something to say when it comes to the Jaguars. And, and Houston, not Indy, Houston and Tennessee. Houston, uh, Houston looking real, real smug these days. Uh, you know, we, we might have to knock them back down a notch because they, they seem to think that everybody around, the, uh, you know, elite, the league is scared of them right now. So, uh, yeah, lots of good stuff, man, uh, for this. And the thing is, is what I enjoy about it more than anything is you get a chance to see the ebb and the flow of the actual draft and how folks usually end up where they end up. And it's, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you want to pull your hair out when you're actually doing these drafts. You really, really, really want to pull your hair out when, you, when you're actually doing it because sometimes you end up doing something that you really, really don't want to do, but the situation calls for it having to be done. And hopefully you guys will absolutely see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, moving up or moving back. When when we get to that point in the draft, I want you to take inventory of what is gone and what is still there. And therefore, you'll know probably before I even whether I make the pick or not, you'll know what my intention is, whether it's moving uh, up or moving back. Who do I watch? Is there somebody in front of me that I'm watching? Uh, yeah, I'm watching the Colts at 15 because I got a feeling that they have one or two overlapping needs. And they're going to be sitting right there because what I've said was you might be looking at cornerback two. You might be looking at edge two. Uh, you could be looking at D tackle one possibly and wide receiver. I think wide receiver four, but I think wide receiver four ain't necessarily wide receiver four on everybody's board. So we'll have to see. And then there's the Brock Bowers factor and whether or not somebody is tempted to, um, grab a hold of Brock Bowers right before we do. That is, and when I say we, I mean the Jacksonville Jaguars. So a lot of things to look forward to, a whole lot of stuff to look forward to. And it's about that time. We're getting closer and closer right now to this thing happening. So buckle your seatbelt, man. I want y'all to really, really enjoy this. Now, if you're watching live right now, you will be sent to the debut of the 2024 Locked On NFL Mock Draft presented by LinkedIn on our Locked On Sports Today 24-7 live streaming feed. If you're watching this after the fact, you'll be able to catch the episode in which the Jaguars make their first pick right here on Locked On Jaguars on Thursday, April 18th. And you can get every episode of the 2024 Locked On NFL Mock Draft on Locked On NFL Draft on Thursday, April 18th. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. All right, man, so it's been a nice little journey to get to this point. But now, the mock draft for the Locked On Podcast Network, the Locked On NFL Draft shows, using actual local experts like myself to make the pick. I want you to enjoy it. Watch the ebb and the flow and tell me how you feel about that pick after I make it. Until then, you guys enjoy the Locked On Podcast Network, Locked On NFL 2024 Mock Draft.